friends we are back with the finishing product this is part two of electronics for beginners how to learn how to solder now we have to cut this excess uh, strip but we're gonna keep an eye on this part and this part as well because the only flow of this circuit is these poor connections here so we're gonna start by cutting the other like resistors and other pins like so we're gonna leave the leds in place but we're gonna start cutting this should be very easy watch out this one can poke your eye very easily this one as well and as I told you we're gonna save them in this tic tac case we're gonna save this uh, because we're gonna use them as fuses later on yeah watch out watch out your eyes this one can be very dangerous so be very careful just do it like I do prepare to cut hold the wire and then snap it in place watch out this thing is very sharp as well so we will see how this circuit <coughs> is gonna improve if it's gonna be like an actual uh, police flasher or something similar yeah from what I saw on uh, YouTube, there was some other um, YouTubers that had a problem with this circuit boards. Too bad, because it flashes very nice, it's quite useful and easy to make, but the flows are a downside. But this one is not going to stop us to not appreciate this, uh, this board being uh, so cheap and useful as well. So bear with me till I'm going to cut these wires. We have nearly finished. Alright friends, so here you go, the test. You see, something is making a bad, really bad connection. Not even doing nothing. Here you go. What I told you now, this is a very bad connection. And if we're gonna touch this pin on this side. Here you go, this one. So all the LED that's why I told you, you know, we're gonna save them, the pins. And we have to flip the board. And as you can see in this diagram, we're gonna connect the LEDs in series. From this one, like this one is gonna be the positive, and this one is gonna be the negative. So we're gonna um, connect all the LEDs in series to these uh, intervals because these very bad connections is making the interruption over here. All right, so let's do it. We try in two different design. One is like this, but it's more time consuming. And the other one, if you wanna go fast, just excess, and then we're gonna cut the excess wire. All right, so let's start soldering now. We're gonna start on this side, with this different design, which is more pretty. But it's more time consuming, it's up to you. How do you wanna do it? I, I show you two ways to do it. A easy way and a hard way, but more pretty. But in my opinion, this one should be refurbished, the LEDs, and put in a separate board and with proper connections. Once again, too bad for this board. Too bad because the design is very okay. The price is good. The functionality is very good. But the connections, it is what it is. We cannot have them all. It's the one saying, you know, you get what you pay for, so. This is this is it unfortunately all right we're gonna solder this one as well and all this excess this is a fast already this video is taking too unnecessary long this is part two basically so but just because i want to show you the actual process of building this kind of diy stuff how long it's gonna take and how time consuming and debugging and uh, the result could be not the one that you wish for. Uh, so, but the, the fun in making it, the satisfaction when you have a product that you can say, I did it, although you didn't actually do it, but you, you try to build it and you're gonna learn something as well, soldering and how the stuff works and with time, 
you can start debugging these kind of circuits and maybe who knows one day you can design your own all right should be done now we're gonna cut the excess one more time and then we'll be back all right friends let's test it out it's better but still we got a row here not uh, connected on this side we have them all running but on this side could be all the negative or the positive terminal not well connected so we have to reinforce both of them to be sure that we're gonna have a proper connection so like so and this one as well as a tip for anyone uh, that is gonna be able to buy this one and wanna do it just don't go through all this trouble snap the pieces buy another um, perforated uh, PC board and do your own LEDs it's gonna be easier for you in the future alright so let's solder this connection and hope for the best what you can see come on here and here as well should be enough and one point here and one to the leg of the of this thingy let's see mm -hmm. let's test it out ground GND is ground and VCC is plus so here you go there you go friends nice and fully functional finally Jesus Christ man took a while now let's try and uh, adjust the thing to see if it's gonna go slower or faster uh -huh. boom 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 all right so we have the slowest setting oh, this is the this is it beep beep and then stop beep 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 and then stop beep. ah it's doing some different patterns and now let's try faster Bam, 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 bam. so it's fully working friends now and remember we have eliminated the, um, the last row because it, we thought that is a, is a mistake but it's not if you have to to assemble it assemble it as is written here in the diagram because it's the right way but you have to reinforce those connections you know to not have any problem in the future be sure now it's slow and let's go fastest here you go we should go a little bit more slow no that's it yeah it's all right a nice addition to your bike or wherever you want to use this one you can put them aside separate yeah it's good with the debugging it's still worth it man it's still worth it all right, friends, thanks all for watching. Till the meanwhile, thumbs up, rate this video, and see you on the next one. Yeah.